Afternoon, Pete. Afternoon. Well, this is our first ever um, live on the roundabout here. And I was speaking to Pete, and Pete's a man with vision, big vision. And uh, we actually went on a road trip, me and Pete. And it's when we were on this road trip that I thought, yeah, we, this is my new favourite word, road trip. <laughs> Where did you go on your road trip? Well, on our road trip, we went out west. Wow. And we went to interesting places such as Newbridge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on, on route, sorry, I meant to be interviewed, Pete. Yeah, yeah. On route, we uh, had, a, had a good old chat. And I thought, if we can replicate that chat that we had, it would be really good. We probably can't. We can give it a go. We well, can give it a go. Much of a memory. Let, let's, just, let's just imagine we're like, you drive. <laughs> You were driving. I was driving. You should be at this side, really. Oh. Anyway, you were, you were driving. And uh, you were just talking about Revive. Just refresh us. What does what's Revive do at the moment? Well, the, well first of all, the, the idea of Revive is it's churches working together to love the community. Basically, we just, at the moment, do some projects that have come our way and we have the opportunity to do. So, uh, we do three family uh, orientated projects. One being park life. Wave if you're involved in any of these. Uh, uh, is a big family fun festival uh, that we do for a one weekend a year. We have about 4,000 people from our community that come along. Uh, and then off the back of that, twice a year we do a park life mini, which is basically a mini version of that. Uh, next one is in about two and a half weeks. So if you haven't already signed up, let us know. I think we've got two people signed up so far and we need at least 40. So, um, Did I sign up? Pardon? Have I signed up? Uh, yes. Oh, right, I'm one of the two. We need help. And I'm probably the other one. So. We need help doing the bouncy. No, we need help doing our bouncy castle so you can help. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, and then we. Wait now. <laughs> yes, yeah. I saw it. Sign you up. And uh, and so and then we're involved in, in some of the community events and plan family oriented that. Uh, so three of them as well are youth orientated. So we do bad night. Where we've got about um, twelve hundred friends on Facebook, um, and of that we have about three hundred that come uh, every meet up every two months to have free hot chocolate and cake to listen to good music that young uh, young people from the local area are uh, performing. Um, and uh, various competitions, for example, this uh, coming one, which will be the 23rd of November, we have a rapping competition. Can, if you can, know, any, can staff enter? If you know anyone, uh, <laughs> are you asking? Uh, uh, yeah, that was a question. <laughs> are you asking? This <laughs> depends. I'm just asking for someone that I know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> We're in the local youth cafe, so every week we meet about 60 young people from the local community and we hang out with them, play uh, Guitar Hero, uh, and just chat and hang in a cafe, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, working in partnership with the local council, uh, they run the, ca the cafe most of the time, and we take it over for the second half of Wednesday. And you're looking for people for that, aren't you? We are looking for people. In fact, all of the projects, uh, we, we are looking for people that can be involved. Um, we, we've, we, or we've taken on these things because we've been given the opportunity, um, and, uh, and it's really great to have these opportunities, but there are lots of other opportunities coming on, and we just need as many people to help as possible. So yeah, all these projects, uh, that can happen. Uh, we go into Casbah High School every Monday, give away free juice to uh, Thursday students. That nice. cease to be Thursday by the end of it because um, uh, we give them juice. Uh, and then we do two projects which are based in the community. One uh, is a Food Bank, uh, which happens um, at Church on the Roundabout. Who goes to Church on the Roundabout? <laughs> um, and we do that um, two mornings a week. Um, and uh, we do a thing called Eating Seeds, uh, which uh, basically does gardening, house clearances, painting, cleaning jobs. Uh, for people that are referred to us by people uh, from, the, from the council who are already working in the community. Um, so, in the last two years, because I'm coming up to my big question, okay. how many people, from, different people from the Newport community, do you think we've actually interacted with, or you? As that is a very good question. Right. I have actually, I have actually calculated it in my mind, and uh, yeah. the answer is twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Out of a population, yeah? A little of applause there. 
12,000 out of a population of 24,000. That's correct. That's 50% of the community. That is 50% of the community. Is that correct? 50% of the community. Yes. That's, that's actually significant, isn't it? Church, that should be a headline. Church touches 50% of the community. That's, that's massive. That's more than any one church, one fellowship could do. Yeah. And we've got a vision here um, of having a church of 300 people, which is approximately 1% of the community in our other communities as well. So actually, that's a lot more than that. So actually, you can see how working in partnership with, with Revive is good for Revive, but it's good for the church here as well. And uh, just like to encourage you, if you're not involved with Revive, speak to Pete, at least give him your email so he can let you know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but we, we went beyond this in our road trip, in our conversation. I was quite amazed. I thought, well, Pete's doing some projects. He's, you know, he's pottering away with Revive, doing this project here, this project there, touching half the Newport community, you know, nothing much really. Um, but he started sharing some really big news, the big ideas he's got. So you, we're not stopping there, I get the impression. Tell, tell us your big ideas. Go into the, church, into the prisons and, you know, listen to people. We'll be involved in various community projects. So prisons is good. That. So that's that. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to be quick. So there's the, we need people to go into old people's homes. We need uh, to set up a hostel for homeless people, uh, which would be a dry house where we can help people with uh, who are suffering from drug and alcohol. No, no, that we can we can help people that we, we particularly through food bank. We 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 know probably 20 people well uh, that we've met over over the last year, uh, and I say we know them well that uh, that uh, have been homeless at some point and uh, are on a journey and could really do with, you know, if we were able to offer them a place of help and support, particularly uh, with addiction, which is a big issue for, uh, for many people. So that would be amazing if you could actually, or I say you, we could actually see that happen. Because I, I know working at Food Bank yourself, yeah. it's, sometimes you help out, you, you give a, a person the food, but you think there's so much more. Yeah. That's kind of, that was our conversation really on this road trip. I, I could just, I hope you get a feel for it because I could really feel the vision. I, I could feel that it, it could actually happen and it is happening. Because I think two years ago, um, we, we were meeting here and we were praying, we were doing some prayer for revival, weren't we? Um, me and Pete were talking because we were both on the edge of, of moving on ourselves. Um, I was on the edge of giving up my teaching and going full time. Pete was on the edge of leaving um, Castle Hall as a youth worker and going full time with Revive. And now both these things have happened. And we are actually on a journey. The church is on a journey. And the church in Newport's on a journey. And things are beginning, things that we saw are beginning to happen. You know, Food Bank was just a, a picture. Could we do it? And we, we've done it. And a lot of these things are pictures. So, so uh, I, I would encourage you, if Pete hasn't got your email, um, give him your email. You won't be under any much pressure. <laughs> it's, good. it's a fun journey to be on. You, you get a lot out of it, as well as helping them. So it's win-win, really, then? Indeed. Yeah, let's give a big hand to Pete. Thank you very much.